guys, it's Tiaja Carmel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys all about this wig that I've been wearing for this past month. Yes, you guys, I said this wig. I love this wig so much. Anytime I wear it, I get so many compliments, whether it's online or just people seeing me at the store or whatever. I've had different people message me on Twitter and Instagram. Yes. I've had different people message me on Twitter and Instagram asking me like who does my hair, where did I get this unit from, etc. So hopefully this video will be helpful to anybody who is interested in buying it. So the unit that I'm wearing is by Bobby Boss. It is in the style Yara and the color 1B. You guys, this 1B stuff is crazy. Like when I first got this unit, I was really shook. Like on the tag it said 1B and I did not remember ordering the 1B. I don't know if they messed up the order or I was just super eager to get the wig. I forgot to choose my actual hair color, which is a two, but I was scared because when I wear dark hair, like black or anything close to black, I look so washed out. But surprisingly, this wig, it didn't really, it didn't make a difference with this wig. I do think Megan Day Tan this summer definitely helped me out with this color because usually when I wear colors this dark, I tend to look washed out. So, shout out to the sun. This wig has two clips in the front and one in the back. It also has ear to ear lace and it comes with just a little bit of like parting space right here. I don't see that line of demarcation I tend to see with certain closures or just different wigs. I don't have to use any glue. I don't have to do anything extra to lay down. It just lays flat by itself. Bobby Boss, you did a really good job as far as this parting and uh, the lace on this wig. Now, as far as shedding with this wig, it doesn't really shed. Um, when I first cut the lace, it shed a whole lot, but that's kind of expected <clears throat> because I could have accidentally cut like a few of the hairs out or whatever. So that could be part of the reason why. Um, after I cut the lace, you know, after wearing it for a while, it didn't really shed that much. I mean, it does a little bit, but all hair sheds, but it's not excessive shedding. Like, I've had a bad weave where it would not stop shedding. It's like embarrassingly shedding like fucking handful of hair just from doing this. Like, you get nothing from doing that with this wig. So, this is not that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> The pros and cons of this wig, the pros are, like I said, I love the lace on this wig. I love how flat it lays. I love how soft this wig. It has a nice shine, but not too much of a shine to where you can tell it's synthetic. Um, I also like the cut on this wig. Like, that's the main thing. Like, that's the main thing that drew me to this wig, the cut and the texture of this wig. The texture, it kind of mimics African-American relaxed hair. So, I think that's a really good you know, little feature or whatever about this wig. But it does so much for me. And I like how it complements my round face. I usually have a hard time finding hairstyles that I'm comfortable with that don't really make my face look even more fat and round, more round than it already is. So this wig doesn't do that. It actually really complements it. I love the way it frames my face. Um, the cons, it doesn't really have a lot of cons. The only con would be that it's synthetic. Um, and you know that sucks because if you really like a wig you want to keep it but there are ways around that as well Ooh. yes let me tell y'all I don't like how you know after a month of wearing it I notice how the ends are getting thicker like it's starting to get a little tangly around here like this part doesn't move as much as it used to but you know it's, it's not really noticeable it's just something I notice. like it doesn't look stiff at all but I don't know, that's just something I peeped there. I guess another con would be that it's only middle part. You can only do a middle part with this wig. Um, you can technically do a side part, but I don't recommend shifting this wig like that because the cut on this wig is too blunt for that. Like, it's going to be obvious that you're wearing a wig and it's going to be obvious that you got damn shifted the wig. So, yeah, I wouldn't do that. But um, if you're not a middle part girl this week, probably isn't for you but I still say try anyway because I usually wear side parts myself but I really love this wig you guys. I purchased this wig for about $45 and honestly in my personal opinion that is a little bit high for synthetic hair but I don't know this this wig is different you should definitely check it out I don't know this wig just gives me life so 
and it gives everybody else life apparently because it's super popular on YouTube. You guys will probably come across a whole bunch of other videos with different women wearing this wig or whatever and it looks different on every single person like lengthwise, the way it fits their face and everything but not once have I seen anybody with this wig who didn't look good in it or you know or it just didn't look right at all. Like this is a really good wig. That's all I can really say about this wig. I really love it. Um, if you guys are interested in this wig, I would definitely leave a link down below in the description box. Did y'all hear that? Uh -uh. I don't fuck with ghosts. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that basically concludes everything I have to say about this unit. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.